Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how we can install Hyper-V with PowerShell in Windows Server 2025. The process is extremely easy. First, let's launch a Windows PowerShell admin prompt. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the Windows PowerShell prompt with administrative permissions. We require admin privileges to add a Windows Server role and the necessary management components for handling this solution. After launching Windows PowerShell as an administrator, installing the Hyper-V role is a straightforward with a single PowerShell command. But first, let me check if Hyper-V role is already installed or not. Type command get hyphen windows feature hyphen name hyper-v and press enter. From the output, we can confirm that Hyper-V server role is not installed. Now, let's install the Hyper-V role using PowerShell. Type command install hyphen windows feature, then specify name parameter. Here, you have to specify the name of the role which you want to install. In our example, it is going to be Hyper-V. Then specify hyphen include management tools. The hyphen include management tools parameter tells Windows PowerShell to install the Hyper-V management tools the Hyper-V module for Windows PowerShell and the Hyper-V GUI management tools. If you only want to install the Hyper-V server role, you can skip this parameter and it will install just the Hyper-V role without the management tools. Additionally, installing the Hyper-V role requires a restart. By including the hyphen restart parameter, the server will automatically restart once the installation of the role is complete. If you prefer not to restart the Hyper-V host right away, you can omit the restart parameter and restart the Windows Server manually later. We just need to make a small adjustment to the PowerShell CM delete to install the Hyper-V role on our remote computer. We need to add the hyphen computer name parameter and specify the name of the remote computer. This parameter tells PowerShell to install the Windows Server role on the designated computer. Let's remove the hyphen computer name switch. We haven't added a hyphen restart parameter so we can view the output in the PowerShell window after installing the Hyper-V role. Let's press enter to install Hyper-V server role on this Windows Server 2025. The installation process has begun. This will take few seconds to complete the installation. The Hyper-V role has been successfully installed on the local server. Since this computer is not connected with the internet, we can see the second warning about failure of automatic update. As mentioned, if you didn't include the hyphen restart parameter in the command, you will need to manually reboot the server after installation. Type the cmdelete restart hyphen computer and press enter to manually restart the local server. Press ctrl to delete key combination to unlock the server. Type administrator's password and press enter to log into this Windows Server 2025. Using PowerShell to install Microsoft Hyper-V is especially useful when deploying Hyper-V across multiple Windows servers like when setting up a Hyper-V cluster. PowerShell is ideal in this scenario because it allows for quick installation of the Hyper-V role on multiple Windows servers without needing to use the GUI. It's also an excellent choice for installing the Hyper-V role when working with Windows Server Core Edition. After the server restarts, you can see that the Hyper-V role is installed and see what other roles and features are installed by running the get-windows feature command. Type the command get-windows feature hyphen name Hyper-V and press enter key. As we can see, the Hyper-V role has been successfully installed on this local server. In Windows Server 2025, you can either use the Server Manager GUI or Windows PowerShell to install the Hyper-V role. As demonstrated, installing Hyper-V with PowerShell is simple one-liner same delete, making it easy to deploy Hyper-V across multiple servers. That's all for this video on how to install Microsoft Hyper-V with PowerShell in Windows Server 2025. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in comments section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.